Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is the latest installment in the Dream Room Makeover series. Uh, today, we're going to be upgrading a couple cool stuff, uh, mainly the gaming setup. This will be the last time you guys will be seeing this monitor layout. It's so sad. <laughs> I've ran this layout for about, I think, almost a year now, and I really enjoyed it. But we got something really cool to replace it, and it's definitely like four times the size of it. We have some new audio stuff, new microphone. You guys won't believe how much I got all this for. I'm very, very excited. Anyways, let's get started. I think maybe maybe not sure yet i might move this to the other side but then i would have to get rid of all of this oh uh, look at the setup though it's kind of messed up <laughs> things are falling apart other than that the wiring down here is falling apart again also i added this really cool top down uh i guess camera setup it's from Glide Gear. Basically, if you guys seen any of my recent uh, tech videos or any product shots, it's been with this setup. Super cool. I literally just latch it on with a quick release plate. It's basically like, like a little photo top down booth. So I can turn on these lights here. Uh, I think I have it in weird lighting setups right now. But yeah, one's RGB and one's just like a white light. And with this camera, I actually use this one now. Uh, up here, you can see a really cool top-down shot. Nothing's really changed with the productivity setup. It's still the same. I think I just moved my Mandalorian pop over here because I ended up getting that. That's super cool. Uh, some other cool pops that I've gotten recently. I don't think I really talk about my pops lately. Uh, I have the Kakashi Anbu. I have the Sasuke Rinnegan, and oh, I got Killua. Yeah, I got Killua. I started watching Hunter Hunter recently. So just like a little quick update with my pop collection. I have way more in the closet. It's in a box. I might have to sell those. It's like, I think I have like 24 more pops in there. Yeah, it's too much. I've actually been using this laptop uh, outside of this setup more just because I kind of find the comfort of my bed. So let me show you all. Basically, I grabbed this thing here. And it's like a pillow for my laptop and I can just put that over there. I like it. It's super cool. I can sit down, work on my laptop and also have TV up so I can watch like football on Sunday. I can, you know, I don't know, just put Netflix on YouTube, watch Twitch, whatever. But yeah, that's enough talking and rambling. I do talk a bit. I'm so sorry. I'm, 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 I'm high on coffee right now, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and install all this stuff. We'll start off with the monitor because it's something I've had for a month and a half now. I have not touched it because I've been wanting to make this video and I finally got the motivation to do it today. So let's go do with the monitor first. All right, monitor, monitor, monitor. Let's go, let's go. This is cool. Here you go. <laughs> triple monitor setup man we somehow preserved the 15 inch monitor here on the side it's just such a different monitor layout it looks like a, a t uh, if you look at it sideways so i don't know it looks super cool uh definitely in love with this but yeah let's go ahead and get started with the rest of the project this is the shirt sm7b and the go xlr mini so with the shirt sm7b usually retails around four hundred dollars and then this is also a cloud lifter that i don't even need but it also retails around like 150 dollars but somehow some way i got this on facebook marketplace both of these together for a price of three hundred dollars the other thing is this go xlr mini it was actually on sale when i picked it up paying like 199 i forget uh, i paid a hundred dollars so. so all in all i'm really Spent $150 for the microphone and $100 for the Go XLR Mini. Highly recommend check your Facebook Marketplace for some really good deals. That's what I usually do and find some nice deals out there. So another thing I want 
wanted to talk about is this thing I ordered from Spotify. Uh, it's the, uh, what do you call it? The Spotify car thing? I was about to say Apple car thing. It's not the Apple car thing. It is the Spotify car thing. Basically, it's like a Spotify MP3 player with a touchscreen dedicated to only Spotify. With car thing, you can also use the screen in the dial. Okay, we'll skip the rest of the tour. Enjoy car thing and have a great drive. <laughs> I'm not driving. I'm not driving. I'm playing in my setup. Well, we got the Spotify car thing working. We have the Stream Deck right here and the GoXLR Mini. And it's basically how we have that set up right there. Other than that, it's just clean and minimal and it just needs a USB cable to get powered up. So that's really cool. And we just have it there for now. So yeah, really cool addition to the setup. Again, that's temporary. We're gonna place it under the monitor like right over here in the future. All right, it's the next morning now, guys. This is how the setup is looking. I got this like Death Star uh, <laughs> wallpaper from Wallpaper Engine. It looks so cool, man. Just having a triple monitor set up, and then this is just so freaking massive. I've actually moved the Spotify car thing over here uh, instead of having it over here. I think it's just more accessible this way. Uh, added my Demon Slayer uh, little figurines over here. Uh, I got the GoXLR Mini finally working. It took me a little bit of time. I was actually playing with Sedlam on Valorant, and I totally forgot to update the software, so it w I couldn't hear any audio while we were playing. And I felt bad because he, he was streaming, and I was like, dude, I'm throwing his Valorant game. But uh, I got it to work uh, like halfway through. But it looks so cool with the RGB. I got it synced up with my Spotify. We get chat, microphone, and obviously the system audio. And I didn't even know there was a bleep noise, so if I curse while I'm streaming, I can click this and it bleeps that which is super cool i don't know how i lived without this for so long uh definitely really cool i can just mute everything if i wanted to or just click these buttons whatever other thing i did was move the microphone over here so we got the sure sm7b uh and the mic arm i'm still using the original one i had for like two years now definitely a trooper and it's just mounted over there instead of having it over here so yeah that's the setup right now Super cool. Uh, other things that we're gonna have to do soon. We're gonna take off the neon sign, and also we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add some new keycaps and desk pads that we got from Asumi. Let me show you guys that real quick. So over here, got these around December, but it's finally arrived literally this week. So perfect timing. Uh, basically, this is their dust keycap set from Asumi. I'll throw out a picture right now how it actually looks, but the packaging is super cool. I got the whole kit, so. Got the novelty, artisan, uh, dusk cable, and also the dust standard kit. And yeah, let me just do a little quick transition. And just like that, these are the Asome dust keycaps. They are on Geekron Q2. I got the cool artisan keycap right there, and there's some cool designs there. Anyways, uh, I think it's time to take down the neon sign, and also I think we're gonna go ahead and install the little. Uh, driving sim rig that I got just because I want to play some racing games tonight. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that Let's go many months later. Hey, welcome to my workplace So that video our dream room episode 8 that was filmed about Two and a half months ago. So I haven't really caught up to you guys what's been going on So I think it's only fair that we're gonna make another episode after this to show you guys what's been going on with the setup. Uh, as you guys know, I've been making a lot of BRZ videos and I find that a lot of fun, which is totally fine because it's another project for me. But I'm actually like getting back into building the setup, which is awesome. That's why I finally finished editing Dream Room episode eight. Uh, so this one's just gonna be for the monitors, the audio the system that we added. Uh, other than that, uh, the racing sim and taking off the neon sign and all that stuff. We will be doing that for episode 9. So stay tuned for that. So that's going to be a pretty cool episode. Uh, I just kind of like lost track of time after I recorded that like whole week working with the monitors and, and doing all that jazz. So yeah, sorry about that guys. But for now, that's going to be it for episode 8. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just me saying I'm getting back into making setup videos, which is cool. But I will still be doing car videos because I have a lot of fun doing that so this is just a channel now based on whatever I like which I think is okay so if you guys want to stay along with the ride make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, like the video if you guys did and I'll see you guys next time Push.